Until the last episode, we have completed all the parts that would require to complete our locomotive assembly. In this video, we will start coloring the locomotive body using the split line command. We can't continue further with the assembly before coloring since coloring replaces the original surfaces and then it may cause error in assembly if the assembly is done before. So this is our locomotive body model waiting to be painted or you can say colored. So for the coloring process, select any surface and start sketching. Here I will make this kind of lines seeing the livery of the original locomotive. Now go in features, then curves and select split line. And start selecting all the surfaces through which this line pass. No need to select the surfaces through which the line doesn't passes. When you are done, press the green tick to complete the splitting surface. Now to insert text, we have a sketch text option here. After entering the text, uncheck the use document font box and choose your favorite font and size. Press OK and click the place wherever you want to place the text. Now again go to features, curves and split line and select the faces on which you want that text. The split line feature projects the sketch on the surface thereby splitting it into multiple counters. Try one thing that the sketch surface you select should be different from those you want to split wherever possible. Select each and every minor surface through which it passes. Now for Devnagri scripting, I recommend you to use the reference image and trace the border by using lines and splines because Devnagri decoding is not so perfect in SOLIDWORKS. A similar tracing technique using reference sketch is made here.
this is how it will look after coloring. Now select any surface, click on the appearance icon and select face. Now select your favorite color. and start selecting the surfaces on which you want that color. You can also select feature in the place of faces which would save time of selecting all the faces. Now repeat the same procedure for all the surfaces and colors you want. If you want to continue the same color, repeat the procedure with the colored surface and you won't require to select the color once again. So this is how our locomotive body model will look like after finishing the complete coloring. So that's all for this video. If you have enjoyed watching this, I would appreciate a thumbs up for the same. And yes, do subscribe for upcoming videos. I'll see you in the next video on coloring and assembling the cabin.